Hey everyone and welcome back to Chris Sawyer's Locomotion, Nicodine 33 here. And if you are following along with us, you will know that we have completed Boulders Breaker, Sandbox Settler, and Weather World in our last two videos. So today we're going to move on to some of the easy ones. We are going to start at the top with Desert Derelium, and then we're going to go through some of the Great Britain, North America scenarios, Oil Oasis, and Swiss Alps. Um, into the easy scenario, we're going to see some of the different ones. We have still Achievement Performance Index, now if it's in a certain amount of years, deliver a certain amount of supplies, or just receive a certain amount of monthly income. And that's what we're doing here. We need to achieve a monthly profit from vehicles of 10 grand. Let's go ahead and get started. Choose my guy. We will pause it. And we're going to look around at all of the different towns, see which ones we have. Looks like Temperance Bound is the biggest with 600. Probably would be a fine idea to put in a tram here. I also, since we need a monthly profit, trams are some passive income, but not a whole lot. Let's look at our industries we have. Coal is all right. Grain is a pretty low producing one. Iron ore, again, all right. Livestock is one of the highest. But something you have to be careful of with livestock and grain is that they are cyclical, um, meaning that at certain points in the year, they are no longer producing. One of the best that I feel like is a solid producer, typically grows more and more, is the oil. So I think that's what we're going to do. We have an oil refinery right there from what I can see. And another one there. We have an oil well here which is pretty close to that one. And this looks like mainly flat ground. That's what we're gonna have. And we have one here, which is further away. Now, the further you deliver, and this one's the furthest yet, the further you deliver an item, the more it pays. So with 22.6, let's see how much we can up that loan to. Because it's per month profit, we really don't care about our loan. Looks like 66 is the highest. Let's see if we can get ourselves a railroad from here to there. 48 bucks a track. That's pretty good. Here, start our diagonal, and we will just roll one rail. And there we go. We got him in. He did not lose to do with us. We will. We're going to be on flat ground, so we'll go ahead and do a special. We'll do 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 on it since it's kind of low. And we're right about where we want it to be. There we go. Now, with that loan, we took out a ton. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is add in a second set of tracks right next to it and probably make these a roll on roll off station too There we go, we have made them go all the way down. That guy's gonna come back because he went the wrong direction. But we've made it roll on, roll off, meaning it gets to come in here and it goes right out. And the other one over here is also roll on, roll off. It comes in here and goes right out. Oh, one thing I forgot to do is place my company headquarters. Not that it actually matters, I just enjoy doing it. Put it out there at 3.8%. Plate layer already. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to put in 
couple of more trains, because we have plenty of oil to haul here. Put in as many as we can afford. One, two, three, four, five. a few more just want to make sure that they're yeah he's not even close to coming back yet one two three four five this guy has plenty of oil waiting all right so we have a pretty good system going here where they come in and go out and come in and go out one thing we can do to make this more efficient, because as you can see, we have plenty of oil to still get rid of, is add another station in here. We can do this, and then throw one of these over. Put one going this way, one going this way, and put down another line. Then what we can do is have two trains filling up at the exact same time. Increase our efficiency, get them going. Typically you need an extra one here before you need another one at the other end, but I'm gonna go ahead and put in another one at the other end and then just continue adding in trains until I feel like it's as optimized as I can get it. We'll continue optimizing this. It looks like we're almost there too, because we have a train waiting behind a signal here, and we have a train waiting there. Don't, yeah, we're about to back up. So, looks like we actually might have about as many trains as we can fit on this one. You can see we're 75% transported of the oil here. Um, the only way to get 100, I've looked into it now, is I need to make another station. So something that's different than Flagville oil field. I have to make another station under a new name to get 100% production out. And doing that typically guarantees that it's going to grow itself. But we're okay with this right now. Uh, I'm gonna watch this for just a little bit and then I will probably expand to this guy over here. Looks like he's got 310. Even further away and we can reuse these lines here to go all the way out there. Okay, it looks like all of these are going well. Let's check how we're doing. Making 5,008 per month, and we need to make 10 grand. Those traffic manager. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a second here before I do the other oil field and put in some trams because I do believe they're a good source of just regular old income. Some of them can make three, four hundred dollars a month, and then once the city gets big enough, they can make way more than that. We'll go through and put a couple trams in a couple of the different cities. All right, we put a couple trams in, and let's see how much money they're making. Monthly profit right now at 58, 96. I mean, they just started, so they're obviously gonna jump up and up and up for a little while, which is awesome. Seven there, four there. By the time he gets back, five. Perfect. There were seven there. By the time he gets back, three. That's great. Okay, this one's doing all right. Oil production's a little low. It looks like our trains are becoming less and less reliable. 
let's just see if I replace one what it replaces at. So it's currently at 64%. stop first it is stopped I replace it with another special it's at 75% so that's really not a whole lot I'm gonna leave them instead now I originally said we were gonna go to this guy but what I'm thinking we should do instead it's 280 tons what I'm thinking we're gonna do instead is head to a livestock processor I think that's the next move we have one here, and that one's real close, or this one down the hill, or what I just saw putting in another one. I think it was over here. Yes. Oh, so there's one here, and that one over there. Still pretty close, but a little more flat. This one over here is what I saw. I think I am going to go with, I also saw a lot of oil fields over here. One, two, three, four the oil refinery there. Let's do that. Let's diversify over here instead. I like that because then we can get other ones onto this. So let's do that. You probably noticed I just set a route on this train and that is important because if I am going to tie in this oil well oh that's the one it just said was going down but if I'm gonna tie in this oil well and I'm gonna tie in there was one over here wasn't there this oil well we're going to want to make sure that they go back to the correct one each time so that's why I set a route on it now I'm gonna go ahead and keep putting in more trains here until it's maxed out. That's looking like about maxed out because in fact it's at 56 tons just as that one comes back. So that I think is as much as we're going to get. It might honestly be one train too many. Money worth is 128 tons of oil a month. Temperance lost is 150. They're both not very many. What's this one? This one's 128 also, but we'll tie them in and we'll start with, ooh, what's this guy? We'll tie him that guy in, 372, he's coming next.
just saw that oil production has went up at our other place. So we're gonna get this one started now. And then we're gonna, gonna go back to Flagville and put in more trains and more loading stations to accommodate for the fact that production just went up. Looks like we need another station here. Add in another there. And we will get back over there 125, so it's really not that tight though. We'll come back over here and start loading it up. Currently at 7456. Almost to our $10,000 a month. Four hundred and eleven tons of oil waiting. We need a bunch more trains to get rid of all of these. And we found it oil's well one. We are cranking out the oil. So yeah, again, we're just gonna keep putting these in until it is at a consistent rate. And honestly, this will probably take us to the end. This will probably be enough to finish off the game. We might even get to 30% uh, performance index too doing this. I'll have to wait and see. There we have it. Did it in three years, three months, which I think is faster than the last time we did it. I think the last time we did it was three years, seven months. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you want to be alerted to future videos. We will continue playing Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. We're going through some of the original scenarios right now. Eventually we might add in some open loco uh, as mentioned in a comment on one of the last videos. Right now we're just getting started with the original Chris Sawyer's Locomotion. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.